Hi friends, we're gonna read another book. It's called, Oh My Baby Bear by Audrey Wood. So, let's see. What's this right here? Anybody know what this is? Yep, it's the words, it's the title of the book. Very good, the title of the book, Oh My Baby Bear. Anybody know what this is, the hard part? The spine. Right? And this is the back of the book. This is the front of the book. Audrey Wood wrote the words. Who writes the words in a story? The author. The author writes the words. I'm going to introduce another part of a book. Somebody has to draw the pictures in a book. Right? Look at all the pictures on all these pages. These are the pages of the book. The person who draws the pictures of a book is called the illustrator. I know that's a big word. Can you guys say it? Illustrator. Let's clap it. Illustrator. Well, that's a lot. Let's count it. Count it with me. Illustrator. One, two, three, four parts. That's a lot of parts to a word. So the illustrator draws the pictures. Let me hear you say that. The illustrator draws the pictures. Good job. Okay. So let's start. Anybody remember what this page is? It's the title page. Yep, because there's the, there's the title again. Oh, my baby bear. Okay, ready? Every morning when the sun peeped in the window and the birds began to sing, Mama and Papa Bear awakened Baby Bear with a kiss. Who does that to you? Does Mommy and Daddy wake you up and give you a kiss? I bet they do. And then they put on his clothes. Looks like he's little, so he can't put on his clothes, but it looks like if he tried, he might be able to. Do you guys dress yourselves or does Mommy and Daddy? Okay. Let's see. They feed him breakfast and then they send him outside to play. So they're feeding him breakfast and then they send him outside to play. Does mommy and daddy feed you breakfast or do you eat on your own? Yeah, I bet you eat on your own. You guys are four, you're kind of big. Yeah, I bet you can eat on your own and I bet you can play on your own. And the evening, they give him a bath and put him to bed. Mama Bear tucked him in. Papa Bear would read him a story. And then they both kissed him goodnight. So they help him take a bath. Do your mommies and daddies help you take a bath? And do they tuck you in at night and give you a kiss and maybe read you a bedtime story? All great things to do. Hmm, let's see. But one morning, Papa Bear said, we need to hoe the garden. Today, you have to dress yourself. Oh no, I hope he can do it. Baby Bear tried, but look, nothing seemed to fit. He couldn't do it. Oh no. Oh, my baby bear, Papa said, let me show you how. And Papa Bear showed him how to dress himself. When it was time for breakfast, Mama, sa Mama Bear said, Baby Bear, we need to clean the house. Today, you have to feed yourself. So now he's got to learn to feed himself. He's older now. He needs to learn how to feed himself. He learns to know, learns to know how to dress himself like you guys. Let's see if he can feed himself. Oh boy, I bet he makes a mess. Oh, I was right. But Baby Bear tried, but he made a mess. Oh, my Baby Bear, let me show you how. And they're showing him how to feed himself. He didn't know how. Sometimes you have to be shown how to do things, and that's okay. That's how we all learn. You have to learn how to do things, and someone has to show you. After breakfast, Baby Bear went outside and played by himself all day long. Isn't he wonderful, Mama and Papa Bear said. 
so he can play by himself, which you guys can too, I bet. Then Baby Bear went inside to have his bath. Tonight, we need to bake a pie, Mama Bear said. You have to take a bath all by yourself. Oh boy, I wonder what Baby Bear is gonna do. Make a prediction, do you think he's gonna make a mess when he takes a bath? I'm gonna say yes. Let's turn the page and see. Baby Bear tried, but soap got in his eye. Oh no, that hurts when the soap gets in your eye. You guys ever gotten soap in your eye? That hurts. Oh, my Baby Bear Papa said, let me show you how to do it so you don't get soap in your eyes. And he's helping him. He's helping him learn. Like your moms and dads and grandma and grandpas, aunts and uncles, brothers and sisters, they all help you learn. Yeah. After his bath, Mama and Papa Bear put Baby Bear to bed. The next morning, Baby Bear could hardly wait to get out of bed. Hmm, I wonder if he can dress himself. Let's see. You think he can? Let's see, let's see if he learned. He dressed himself, he ate his own breakfast, he played all day long, and he gave himself a bath and didn't even get soap in his eyes. He learned, they showed him and he learned how to do it. Just like you guys are all learning as you're growing. Isn't that neat? Nice job, baby bear. Then when the moon peeped in the window and all the birds stopped singing, Baby Bear climbed into his bed. So if the moon comes up, is it daytime or nighttime? Yeah, it's nighttime. Uh-oh, look, he tried to fall asleep, but look, he can't fall asleep. His eyes are open. I wonder why. Why do you think he can't fall asleep? What did Mommy and, Mommy and uh, Mama and Papa Bear do to help him fall asleep? Do you remember? Okay, let's see if you remember. Because he can't fall asleep. Oh my, Papa Bear cried. Baby Bear put himself to bed. He's not a baby anymore, Mama Bear said. From now on, we must call him Little Bear, not Baby Bear. But Little Bears don't have to go to bed so early, Papa Bear said. They can stay up just a little bit later. So Little Bear jumped out of bed. He was happy. He went to bed too early. But now he's not baby bear, he's little bear. Then they strolled back home and they ate some banana cherry pie after they went outside for a nice long walk together. So before they went to bed, they went outside for a nice walk and then they ate the pie that mama bear made. Mmm, apple cherry pie, that sounds good. At last, Mommy Bear put Little Bear to bed and read him a story. Yeah, he likes, still likes to have stories read to him because he's not big enough to read yet. Neither are you guys. So mommies and daddies can still read to him. Isn't it wonderful, Papa Bear said? Even Little Bears aren't too big to be tucked into bed and be kissed Good night. You're never too old for that, right guys? Don't you want to be tucked in and get a kiss from Mommy and Daddy before you go to bed? Yeah, and maybe read a story, that's fun. But Little Bear didn't hear, he had already fallen asleep. Dreaming, little dream bears. Look at, now, do you guys remember um, when we talked about um, characters in a story? Characters are the people or things in a story. Can you tell me one of the characters in this story? Yes, Mama Bear was a character. Yup, Papa Bear was a character. And who else was a character? Baby Bear or Little Bear, those are the characters. Yes, the characters in the story. Thank you guys. See you later.